For nearly a dozen years now, we have held an interfaith service of remembrance here of Kristallnacht in the Wallace All Faiths Chapel at Chapman University. This is a time when we as people of faith and people who are committed to humanity vow never again. As we will hear tonight in the words of Abdul Baha, an early leader of the Baha'i faith, each of us is bound to manifest complete love and affection toward all humankind. Thank you for being here. Kristallnacht is always a really powerful event at Chapman University. As far as I know, it's the only place that does this as an interfaith event, so it's very important that the faiths come together and talk about what happened. Uh, I think it'll be very moving. We don't get to see Holocaust survivors speak very often, and it won't be a lot of years before we won't be able to see them, so we'll all be moved tonight. To learn more about Mr. Lowens, I encourage you to visit the Sala and Aron Samueli Holocaust Memorial Library on the fourth floor of the Leather B Libraries to see the magnificent personal collection that Kurt and his wife Kathy have entrusted to Chapman University. He is a survivor, a witness, a rescuer, and overused the this word is, he is a genuine hero. Please welcome Kurt Lowens, who will share with us some of his memories of Kristallnacht. I, I was very lucky during the Holocaust because once uh, uh, I had been picked up being stuck in Holland on my way to America and uh, in uh, short, thank heavens, visits in this street sweep uh, taken to Westerbork, I also got out of the camp by pure fluke and luck. That night, as I say, school, classes, suddenly a turnaround, lots of doors. The director of the school runs from class to class. Get home and don't look at them. We are surrounded by Hitler youth. They will throw stones. They will hurt you. Get yourself home. Synagogues were burning. Traffic jams were created. And no fire engine would stop at the synagogue to stop the flames of the holy places. I have memories, I have pictures in my mind, and I would love to encourage the younger generation here in attendance to remember things, and to remember if a choice goes awry, to just retreat a little bit and say, hey, Fate is that to me, or I misjudge something and regroup and find a way into the next positive alley. Well, I think being educated on the different topics about religion and understanding other religions and faiths is actually really critical for everyone's work so they can understand people and just for making peace and for getting along in the world. Really important for Chapman students to be educated on that. Dr. Harron and Chapman University uh, is making a marvelous arrangement year after year to uh, let us remember and encourage us to remember. 